There was a contractor named Raya. He got a contract to cut down the trees in the place behind the school. Raya, along with his colleagues, reached the grounds behind the school. Raya, let's start the work early. We need to clean this ground completely. There were lots of trees behind the school. The school children used to come here to play after school. Everyone loved this place, but the schoolman wanted to build a bigger school there. That's why all the trees were being cut down. Raya started cutting down the tree, and Raya had just cut the first tree and found a watch under it. The watch was shining from a distance. Raya quickly lifted the watch and put on his hand. Hey, it's showing the wrong time. Well, I'll set it right. As Raya changed the time of the clock, his eyes were covered with darkness. For some time, it was like Raya had stopped breathing. But then the light started once again. The view had changed all around as Raya had come into a new world. It was raw huts on the side of the school, and only trees were visible at a distance. His heart rejoiced at the smell of nature and at the chirping of birds. Raya had never breathed such clean air. Raya arrived in ancient times. After walking a few steps from there, he saw that people were worshipping trees and performing their rituals, arity. Raya, why are you worshipping these trees? God is worshipped. People, the tree is God for us. It gives us fresh air, food, home, and what not. Raya, but they are lifeless. They neither move nor speak. People, trees also have a life like ours, and the one who gives everything without asking, without saying, is the real God. Raya went ahead ignoring all the things of that man, and once again tried to improve the clock time. As he changed the time of the clock, the darkness felt before his eyes once again. Raya stood calm, and in a short time, once again, the view of all the four sides changed. This time, there were tall buildings, and there was no sign of greenery everywhere. Raya, I'm choking here! How much pollution is here! Ryu went ahead and saw all the people walking around with a mask on their mouths and asked a person to stop. Ryu, hey brother, why are all these people wearing a mask here, person? If we don't put on masks, we will all die. Ryu, where did so much pollution come from? Person, you know... Our sinful ancestors did not even leave a single tree for us and cut down all the trees. This is the result of all this. On hearing this, Raya was shocked. He couldn't believe his ears. Raya, in his mind, We are all about to leave such a world for future people. Will the people of the future think the same about us? Ryu quickly put the clock's time back to its original time and returned to the present. Ryu, everybody stop cutting down the trees. We won't do this work from today onwards. Ryu's colleague, but why, Ryu? Ryu? You don't know what world we are creating for our children by doing all this. Hey, what will they think about us that our parents 
didn't leave a single tree for us? Raya understood the importance of trees, and he explained it to all of his companions here too. Raya spoke to the school principal and asked him to change his decision. The principal also agreed to the prayers of all the children of the school, and he ordered a park to be built in that place. There was a very old well in Kishengar, which was far famed for its magic. It was said that whenever someone was going to be married in the village, and whoever needed any goods for marriage, they'd just need to pray in front of the well, and the well would give it to them. Everybody used to honestly put those things back in the well when the need was over. Everyone worshipped the well like God. Villager Remu. Hey, uncle, where are you going? Uncle. Hey, son, next week is my daughter's wedding. I wanted some money and utensils. That's why I thought I should pray to the well. Villager Remu. Let's go, uncle. I'll also join you. Uncle. Okay, son, come on. Both people went to the well. Uncle had fruit and coconut in his hand. He broke the coconut on the ground and said, Hey, magical well, I need some money and utensils for my daughter's wedding. Help me. Uncle dropped the fruits and flowers into the well and stood nearby with his hands together. Ramu also stood there with his hands clasped. Then they left. The next day, when the people returned to the same place, there were lots of utensils and money in a box near the well. Both of the men took all the goods and left, having bowed to the well. Everyone was very happy that the uncle's daughter got married with great pomp. After the uncle's daughter got married, he returned all the utensils to the well and slowly put all the money back. Similarly, every person of the village used to pray to the well when needed, and the next day they would get that stuff. The magic of the well was not a recent thing, but it was very old. Roy Behader came new to Kishengar. He came there after being troubled by the bandits in his village. The next month, Rai Behadar's son had a wedding. As soon as he heard about the magical well, he also thought that he too would demand all the things needed from the magical well and marry his son with pomp. The next day, Rai Behadar reached the well together with his son. They both worshipped the well and then put fruits and flowers in it. Like every time, the next day, they found all the things they needed to be kept near the well. Rai Behadar was very happy and said, Rai Behadar, thank you very much. Now I can marry my son with great pomp. And then went with his hands clasped together. Then Rai Behadar's son got married with great pomp. He invited people from all over the village to the wedding, and there was an atmosphere of happiness everywhere, and everyone was praising Rai Behadar very much. But as soon as the Rai Behadar son got married, his greed came out. Rai Behadar I'm not going to return anything. It's just a well. What will it do to me? The villagers explained it to him many times, but he didn't agree. After Rai Behadar's deception, whenever and whoever went to ask the well for the same things, the well would not give them anything. All the people of the village were upset, but it didn't affect the Rai Behadar. On the contrary, he was spending his life with fun. Then. One day, something happened that no one knew about. 
while Rai Bahadur and his family were sleeping, suddenly a fire broke out in his house, and all the people of the house came out safely, but the house was gutted. Rai Bahadur, somebody saved my house and helped me. No one from the village came forward to help Rai Bahadur, and all this was the result of his greed. Which he had to suffer, Rai Bahadur's family was forced to leave Kishengar. The magic of the well began to appear once again as soon as Rai Bahadur left. Everyone once again started to get help from the well with complete honesty, and what happened to Rai Bahadur was an example for the people of Kishengar of cheating the magical well.